Hey, Chris, thanks for doing this. Let's start here. For you, what's it been like this whole season trying to find that spot where you're healthy, but at the same time, you're trying to gain consistency in a year where that's been a hard thing for you to achieve? Uh, yeah, I mean, staying healthy is kind of the first thing uh, that's been uh, it's been tough so far, just two little kind of quick injuries. But uh, I think, you know, I'm just going to take care of my warm up in, a, in the gym. Um, it was a tough balance the last one. I, I, you know, tweaked it with two minutes left in the Buffalo game. So, um, you know, it's tough luck. Uh, you know, if you don't get that shot, two minutes, you know, I've been, we've been playing for the last couple weeks now. So um, just excited to be back and get started and, and uh, get some wins here. Darren Brown. Hey, Chris. Um, you know, the timing of it was an unfortunate too, right? Because you had just come off of, uh, two wins and and you really starting to to show what you could do. Um, what are your expectations now for for ramping back up to that to that level that you were you were just starting to play at there? Yeah, I mean uh, it's nice. The injury wasn't too long, so um, it doesn't really feel like even that long ago that uh, we just won both of those. So uh, just kind of take some of that momentum and and uh, our team's grown a lot in the last month or so. I think we've, we've kind of figured out who we are as a team. So um, you know it's always fun to play behind. You know, a team that's got some confidence, um, you know, and, and, and kind of you know gels as a group. So I'm just looking forward to getting back in there and, and keep things going. And uh, like I said, just get some wins for us. Scott Malone. Hey Chris. So piggybacking sort of all of that, you know, how, how tough is it to try to sort of maintain that sort of positive momentum when you kind of had this little yo-yo on IR, off IR, on IR? stretch so far early in the season uh yeah it's i mean it's not ideal obviously but um you had a lot of good time practicing so um you know you just kind of have to get your confidence in practice uh create little little battles and practice with the guys and just stay competitive so um you know fortunately it hasn't been long stretches here so it's just kind of quick quick on quick off which obviously we're trying to stay healthy here for you know, the remainder of the season um but yeah it's been uh you know a lot of stretch when, when, you know, one, two straight there was, was great for the confidence, felt, felt comfortable. And um, like I said before, uh, I'm just trying to carry that momentum forward and, and uh, keep that going. Ryan. Chris, what's some of the work that you've been able to do with Nate? And is it Nate that you're working with or who is it that you're working with when you're going through rehab and then when you're done with rehab, like, do you still continue some of those workouts or is it kind of like back to what you would normally do even before you got injured? So, yeah, I mean, during the injury process, you do a little bit more with the uh, with the guys on uh, the medical side. So I'll be working with uh, Mike Bowie, um, you know, and, and just kind of doing stuff with him and a little bit more, um, you know, specific uh, to the injury and the recovery. So, uh, and then they kind of communicate with Nate and then I'll go into the gym and do kind of more specific workouts. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you when you've been hurt a little bit more than you know I'm used to in seasons, then uh, it's definitely something where you look and you try and add a couple things and maybe just do a little bit more to to ensure that uh, this doesn't happen again. Mike Benton, Chris, hey, thank you for doing this. Uh, following up on uh, something that was said earlier, where you know some goaltenders and players put the value of practice in having little battles and some will say it's like competing in a game curious where you see the value of that and through those battles with your teammates what you feel makes a good practice yeah i mean for me it's just i i want to stop every puck in practice and and uh some days you're gonna feel great and you're gonna feel like you have tons of energy and other days you, you know you don't have the energy but you still need to get something out of practice so uh that's when i feel like the, the competition comes in and you know certain guys you know it's sort of some of the guys that can beat you a little bit more often, um, you know, you bear down on those guys and make sure you get those saves and just stay competitive. I feel like that's kind of, you know, our whole game and, and regardless of what position you are, you need to compete and, and be your best. So I just try and be the best version of myself. And I find when I, you know, when I challenge myself on certain shooters and certain drills, you know, like if it's, if it's a good drill for me that I, I feel it's a game situation and I can get a lot out of it. Um, you know, maybe I go in and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to play every single one of these putts, you know, 100% and, you know, stop them all. So, um, you know, over the course of the practice, you can't do that on every drill. Otherwise, you'll be, 
little too tired, but if you pick your spots and, and compete on, you know, uh, when you can, then, then I find that goes a long way. Ryan. Hey, Chris, what would you say has kind of been the key to navigating everything where you don't want to let this be so mentally draining, where you're dealing with the injuries, you're trying to deal with, you know, finding consistency, in addition to the fact that you're with a new team in a new city, like, how do you manage it to where it doesn't become overwhelming? Yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't really feel overwhelmed at all. I, I feel I feel good. I feel confident going into the, into the game tomorrow. And uh, I just feel like being me, you know, it's kind of been a slow build since I got here, just getting comfortable with, with my teammates and, and with the new building and the, and the coaching staff. So uh, at this point, you know, we're all, we're all pretty pretty comfortable with each other and, and uh, coming up to a good game. So I feel good. I feel ready to go and uh, excited to, to get started here. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate that. Thanks, guys.